Mezagog, we're not going anywhere. Oh, no. oh. Oh, are you gonna tell him or am I? I cannot bear to bring my master such dismal news. He has been like a father. He deserves better. Hold it. Don't you think we've failed enough for one day? We have been betrayed by inferior creatures. Our only hope is to build one from superior resources like me. You're a superior resource. Mm. With the addition of the powers I have programmed into the Geno Randomizer, I will be invincible. Fine. Go on, then. You have no objection. If it works, we will destroy the Power Rangers. If it doesn't, it will probably destroy you. Either way, my day doesn't end up too badly. You will see. Activate. Well? I feel the same. Mm. But I feel huh? alive. Father, huh? I am here to serve you. Father? Huh? Oh, man. Uh. Uh. Trent, huh? I gotta go home soon. You gonna be able to scrounge a few minutes for our government project? I'm really sorry, Ethan. We just got slammed all of a sudden. Okay. Waiter, order up. Hello. <laughs> Waiter. What? You do what you gotta do. Waiter, hello. I'll find something to keep me busy until you get a break. That'd be great. Waiter, hello. Yeah, Cass. Look, I don't think they really like the whole mm, clicky thing. Well, you see, my, my brother, he's a waiter, and. Save it for your memoirs, Devin. Every mm. second my decaf latte sits at the bar, it loses foam, and I hate it when they lose foam. There you go, one decaf latte. Oh, thanks. You know, doing this government in action project has left me totally parched. That's nice. Hey, look, Trent. Yo. No. Uh, look, I hate to be a real drag, but you know, yo. Oh, man, your smoothie. Got it. Sorry, Dev. I'll be right back. Thanks, Trent. Whatever. <laughs> Did you hear that? Um, yeah, it'd be hard not to. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun? Uh, yeah, I am. Okay, I'm stopping. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing here? I thought I'd give you a ride home. You ready? I don't think I can leave right now. I'm in the middle of work. 
Look, son, I don't mean this to sound um, elitist, but don't you think a managerial position would suit you better? I mean, come on, all this running around, slinging milkshakes, it doesn't really scream Mercer. Dad, I like working here. And besides, I'm in high school. This is what kids do. Right. Well, it's not what I did. Anyway, let me think about it. Maybe we can uh, come up with a compromise we can both live with. Dad, I'm fine. I'll see you at home. OK. See ya. Uh, Dev? Oh, hey, Trent. Look, I uh, just figured I'd make my own. Is that OK? Why not? Yum. Yeah. And there. Whoa! Oh! Father, I await your command. Tell me how I may serve you. Have you figured out why he calls you father yet? Not yet. But clearly his blind devotion is something we can use to our advantage. And how would that be? My son. Yes? The time has come for you to fulfill your family destiny. I am ready, Father. Through that invisible portal, you will find Dr. Thomas Oliver. Wait for him, follow him, then destroy him. You order it, and it shall be done, Father. You see? He's right home, Dr. O. Dad would have freaked if I got home late again. No problem. Hey, speaking of your dad, there's something I've been wondering. All those years working with your father, and, uh, he never mentioned he had a son. No, he didn't. You know how one that is? Him and my real parents worked together on a dig a few years ago. There was a cave-in. Parents never got out. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, he's been great, though. He's taken me in, given me everything. You know, home, life. Not a lot of people would have done that. Yeah. Oh, man, my insurance company's never going to buy this. Which one of you is Dr. Oliver? Uh, that'd be me. Then prepare for your demise. You're mine. Show up. Huh. You return with me at once. But father, my mission is not complete. Now, do as you're told. Yes, father. Father? Did he just call him father? I think so. Well, that went well. Let me guess. You're gonna make him stronger? Listen, unless you have a better suggestion, I'd advise you to step back and stay out of the way. Fine! Just don't come crying to me when this thing blows up in your face. Hey. You're home late? Yeah, Dr. Oliver gave me a ride. Had a little car trouble. See? Hey, Dad, how come you and he don't hang out anymore? I mean, I thought you guys were good friends. Trent, you'll find that as you grow up, different people come in and out of your life. Dr. Oliver and I had our time, and now we've both moved on to different things. I see. And speaking of moving on, I think I've found a solution to your dilemma. My dilemma? Yeah, the cyber cafe. 
I've decided to buy it. What? Simple thank you will be just fine. But Dad, why'd you... I mean, how? Well, it seems the cafe is on land leased from the city. So whoever owns the land decides what goes there, and now I own the land. But what about Haley? She's my boss? My friend? She's your friend, yes. Boss, definitely not. That will soon be you. I don't want to run the cyber cafe. I mean, I barely have enough time to work there now between my drawing and school. Trent, I might be imagining things, but you sound amazingly ungrateful. This isn't what I want. Doesn't that count for anything? Look, of course it does, OK? I've already factored that into my decision. And in the end, I've decided it's what's best for you. It's what's best for us as a family. I don't believe it. Junk mail? I wish. Check this out. What's it say? A letter from the city. Seems as of tomorrow, I have a new landlord. Not just any landlord. Anton Mercer. He's going to rebuild the whole cafe. And he's going to replace me. With who? So you've heard. So what's the deal, man? One rough day at the office, so your rich daddy buys it for you? It's not like that. I had nothing to do with this. Look, I, I got a friend at City Hall. I mean, maybe we can check out the deal and see if Mercer missed something. You've known my dad long enough to know he doesn't make mistakes. Well, I've known your dad long enough to know he does. Come on, Ethan. Well, wait. I'm going with you. This is because of me. I'll do whatever it takes to fix this. City Hall, here we come. Did you hear that? Yeah. I mean, it really makes you feel like going out there and fighting for what's right. Huh? Oh, right, the report. Yeah, yeah, we should probably get down there first. Yeah, this is perfect. It's got government, it's got action. Only thing is, what do you wear to City Hall? I mean, is it dressy? Mm -hmm. Man, I hope there's something we can do. Me too. Dr. Oliver, my office said you were coming down. Councilwoman Sanchez, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> uh, uh, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Sanchez, where it's safe. You got it. Come on. Yoo-hoo, Council Lady! Cassidy Cornell, we were here first! Intruders! Huh? This is why I hate politics! Let's get out of here. Come on! This is safe. Thank you so much. If there's ever anything I can do for you. Actually, I'd like to speak to you about Haley's cyberspace. Uh-huh. My father, Anton Mercer, he's making a terrible mistake. Your son got a lot stronger. They grow up so fast, don't they? We heard you guys were here to fight City Hall. They must have meant fight in front of it. You guys ready? Ready! Dino Thunder! Power up! Yeah! yeah. 
Hey, Zeltrax, you're sending your son to do what you couldn't? I will take you myself. <laughs> Golden Rod, attack the city. Yes, sir! <laughs> I'm larger than life! Whoa! He's big! I'm gonna rock this city! Yeah! That's our cue. Brachio, do your thing! You sure you got the right guy? I know that you are my sworn enemy for life. I seriously don't know what you're talking about. Then I will explain it to you after I make you watch my son destroy your beloved students. Ah! Sorry, not gonna happen. Let's say... ah! Nobody misses with my students. Ah! Later days, Seltrax. Huh? Wait. Ah! Come back and fight! Uh, uh. Huh? It's Dr. O! Brachio Stamp! Red Strike! Earthquake! Strike now! Yeah! Sweet! Ready? Full power! Yeah! He was the only family I have ever known. I will have my revenge upon you, Dr. Tommy Oliver! Dad, we need to talk. You're not gonna be happy, but there's something up. Done. Huh? What is it? Okay, let's uh, get these walls torn out. We can save the computers. Hang on. You don't own it yet. Haley, you know, as much as I hate to say this, you really can't fight City Hall. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Dr. Mercer. <clears throat> My name is Eleanor Sanchez, Councilwoman for the 33rd District. It is with great pleasure I inform you that the City Council has voted to put your purchase of this land on hold. You're a part of this? Actually, we had your son to thank. <sighs> he made me realize that a place like this, a safe haven for learning and interaction for the youth of our community, is something that shouldn't be disturbed or changed in any way. I was only trying to do what's best for my son. Well, I'll just be going then. Bring the car back here. There's been a change of plans. Oh. Yeah! We did it, baby! Hmm. Dude, what? Get in here. 
Okay, I'll be right there. 